Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today let's look at how you can use the mass modifier in your workflow. So, if we add a mass modifier, I'll just go to the modifiers and add a mass modifier, not a mirror, a mask modifier. You can see we have hide, we have hidden the entire mesh, but uh, you can choose what parts of the mesh you want to hide by using by setting a vertex group here. So let's go into uh, the vertex group here, into object data, and then vertex group, add a new vertex group, and now we can use, we can go to weight paint, uh, to paint out, to paint a new vertex group. So I'll just change uh, the weight here to one, paint like this. Now, if you go to the modifiers again, select my group, you can see that uh, I'm only hiding parts of my mesh. You can also use this threshold to increase or reduce how much of the faces are being hidden. So I can kind of come back here, start painting back parts of the mesh if I want to like so and now you can also use the this to reveal parts of the mesh uh, for example if I go back to if I remove uh, this vertex group and uh, let me just create a new one and add uh, let me just add an icosphere add let's find uh, Vertex weight proximity, like this, and just set uh, the vertex group we want. We're going to hide parts of the mesh, use, animate the parts of the mesh we want to reveal using this object. So let me just animate it a bit, moving forward, like so. Just reduce my timeline, playback. Let's go to weight mode for this. Now we just have to change a few things here. I'm just going to change the distance here from object to geometry, and see how that affects our mesh. And uh, we'll go, I'll also go back to the vertex group, make sure that uh, the weight paint, of, the weight I've assigned to all the vertices uh, is zero, so that uh, the only vertex paint that is as assigned is from this object. Now if we play, you can see how it's happening. And now uh, we can control the amount by just playing around with this here so now if we add our mask uh, to this and just select the vertex group we have you can see now but uh, let's just do the opposite of what we have here so i'm just going to flip uh, this here so that because right now you can see that uh, is where the paint is red where the paint is red Sorry, the, where the paint is blue uh, is the areas that are being uh, hidden instead of uh, the areas that are high, uh, are red. So let me just flip this uh, so that we, st we start with nothing. And then as this object comes into, let me just hide it for a second. You can see. So if we scale our sphere here, Maybe even instead of using a sphere, let's just use a cube. Go to edit mode, I'll delete this. Then add my cube. Let me just give it a few subdivisions like that. Now you can see how it's affecting. And so there, a few cool tricks you can use uh, with this. Again, you can come back to your uh, vertex group, sorry, your modifier here, and just start playing around with that. I don't know how you would use this, but uh, yeah, it's uh, another cool modifier I rarely see people using. So, thank you for watching.